Hey y'all, welcome back to Jack's Drinkwater Southern Cooking and Barbecue. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make the most juiciest, flavorful rotisserie chicken on your Weber kettle. However, that being said, you can do this on a gas grill or using charcoal. The procedure is gonna be the exact same. Let's get going. All right, so before we get started on our chicken, let's set up our grill. Today, I'm gonna be using a Weber kettle. I'm gonna be using charcoal and we'll be throwing a little bit of sugarberry wood on there for a little bit of smoke, just a hint. So what I have here is the Slow and Sear, and it's made by Adrenaline Barbecue Company. Now, I'm not affiliated with them. I don't make any money off this. I just like to use this. You don't have to have the Slow and Sear in order to do this cook. If you didn't have one of those, you just bank your charcoal up to the side of your Weber kettle. Okay, so I got the Slow and Sear about halfway full, and then I have a small, chimney of charcoal here and we're just going to set that down I'm using a starter cube to light it up so what we're going to do is give our starter cube a little bit of a light there and once these coals get ashed over we're going to be dumping them across the top here while we're waiting on our charcoal to heat up, it's time to truss up your bird. Now, in my opinion, this is an important step because if you don't, the bird is going to cook unevenly. Now, you can use a traditional butcher's twine to truss up your bird. Plenty of videos out there that show you how to do that. In today's video, I'm going to be using the Turbo Trusser. Not a sponsored video. I bought this with my own money. The way this works is, I think, because I've never used it before, I went ahead and I preset my forks here my claw, my forks, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to put the turbo trusser on there like so. Just leave that on there for now. We'll get our bird. Now, before we season our bird, you want to put the bird on here first before you start seasoning it. Wow, we should have cut that neck off. I think it's cute. We're gonna be leaving the neck on this bird because my wife wants to. You can take it off if that's what you want. Some of them won't even come with a neck. It's probably gonna burn, but we'll, we'll see. Get on there like that. Now, your legs of your bird go in to the turbo trusser in these little holes here, just like so. There we go. All right, then you have two little eyes here. I don't know if you can probably, can't probably see that, but then stick that in. All right, and then you stab your wings with this hook here, just like that. Let's put the other one in. There, now your bird is nice and trussed up. It'll spin, we're not gonna have any flapping parts except for the neck. So our half a chimney of charcoal is going. We're going to sprinkle these over the top of those unlit charcoal briquettes. All right, by the way, I didn't mention this before, but I'm using this uh, attachment that goes on top that's made to go on top of the Weber kettle and it's called the Cajun Bandit. Now everything that I'm talking about in this video, I'll leave links below to the products. And again, I'm not sponsored by any of these folks. We're gonna add that sugarberry wood on top, get that going. And we're gonna let this come up to about 300, between 350 and 400 degrees. Let's put the lid on it. So if you're using a gas grill, the method is going to be the same. It's still going to be 350 to 400 degrees. You're going to make sure that, that uh, you have that rotisserie attachment and that the chicken is in the center of the grill. And regardless of whether you're using gas or charcoal, you're going to want to make sure that you put some type of drip tray or drip pan underneath your chicken because that rendering fat from the chicken, if it hits any flame, you will have a burnt chicken. I'm gonna be using this dripping griddle by s, s Grills. I'm gonna go ahead and stick that in there now before I forget. So the way I like to season my bird up is I use two rubs here. I'm using the John Henry's Country Chicken. And I'm also gonna use, I love this stuff. You can see I got a big thing of it. This is the Texas size 
pecan rub by John Henry's. So what I'm gonna do first is I like to go over it with the pecan, then after that I'll follow with the country chicken rub. This is a great tip when you season your bird, make sure you put it over a bowl and make sure it's already on your skewer before you start seasoning it. It makes it a whole lot easier. By the way, this bird is still wet. We shouldn't have any problems of the rub sticking. If you had a dry bird, just rub it down with some olive oil or any kind of canola oil, grapeseed oil, whatever kind of oil you want. All right, now we're gonna follow up with our country chicken. And you can see I'm being pretty liberal with everything. We'll lose some of the rub while it's spinning. One of the things about this John Henry's that I love is it seems to pen really penetrate this meat. And to be honest with you, I hardly use any other rubs for uh, chicken. You can't, can't beat it. And by the way, John Henry's did not sponsor this video or anything. I just really like their rubs. So we got our bird nice and seasoned up. We're gonna just let it sit here and hang out and start sweating for a few minutes while our Weber kettle gets up to temp. All right, so we're up to temp. Go ahead and we'll stick our rotisserie rod in here. All right, now, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I, before I skewered this, I kind of checked to see where I wanted my bird and that will adjust because you want, if you're using the Weber kettle, you want your bird to be in the center of this. Before you stick your rod in your hole, you want to spin your bird like so, all right, just to see where the heaviest part of the bird is, okay? And you'll notice if I turn it this way, it's gonna go right back. So that's the heaviest part of the bird. So what we wanna do is we wanna put our counterweight on the opposite side. So, so heavy part of the bird. So we'll put our counterweight on the opposite side. All right, now we'll put it back in the hole there and we're ready to rock and roll. Really liking that turbo trusser. Really keeps things pulled in and tight. I'm digging it. Now that neck is probably gonna get a little crispy, but hey, you gotta do what the boss says. So I do wanna mention on the bottom of my Weber kettle, I have my vents open about a quarter of the way and on top I have it about halfway. Now we will maybe have to adjust those along the cook. We'll just kind of see how it goes. We just want to maintain, you know, 350 to 400 degrees. So you can figure this cook is going to take anywhere from an hour and 15 minutes to an hour and a half if we're running between those 350, 400 degrees. Okay, just like any other yard bird out there, you want to make sure you get that breast up to 165 degrees. All right, I think we are done. We're, we've reached 165 degrees, and I don't know, for some reason, on the package on this chicken, it said 185 degrees, didn't it? I don't know. I don't know if that's some kind of new FDA regulation or whatever, but we're going 165. All right, so I'm not going to bore you with me taking this off and everything. We're just going to cut into it right now mm -hmm. all right let's do this oh wow did you see the juices coming out of there dudes mm. all right for all of the all of you out there that thought i don't get anything in my beard obviously you just seen I did. All right, so I know I've, I've done a video on rotisserie chicken before, and I'm gonna tell you, you cannot beat, I don't care. For me, smoking a chicken, spatchcocking a chicken and grilling it, rotisserie chicken is where it's at. You cannot beat it. 
especially with those rubs the john henry's rubs i'll leave links in the description below where you can go get you some i highly recommend trying them out if you have it that turbo trusser i'm sold on it i will use it on this again i also would love to try the a turkey using that turbo trusser the turbo trusser i believe i read that you can use it not only in rotisserie but you can use it for grilling smoking in a deep fryer or an air fryer get you one i'll leave links below all right guys rotisserie chicken on your weber kettle or any other grill you got do it